Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Mike, and welcome to this week's broadcast. Hey Mike, you all about making that cash? I wish. On to the stock market with Lucas. Hey guys, it's Lucas here with Brooke and Dylan. And they were on part of a team that just won the first ever Bloomsburg stock market game. And Zoe was also on their team. So Dylan, can you tell us a little bit about the Bloomsburg stock market game? Yeah, so the Bloomsburg stock market game, our first year playing it, you start with $100,000. There's no limitations on trades as long as you got to execute it when the price of the stock's at $3. And we turned $100,000 into $731,000. Gee, that's a lot of money. Brooke, can you tell us what stocks helped you win? Uh, we invested in the most active pharmaceuticals, and we just did a lot of day-to-day -day training. Okay, so how does it feel to be a thousand other teams that are trying to beat you and compete with you? For me, it's kind of surreal my senior year to have won two state games. I think it's really awesome knowing that there are how many other teams trying to beat us and that we kind of came out on top. Uh, I mean, this is my first year, or my second year playing the games, my first year winning ever a state game. To win two, I mean, I can't help but feel proud. I feel proud of myself. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Yep. Now moving on to the new teacher with Destiny. We're here with Mrs. Essek, the new English teacher for seventh grade. So have you taught anywhere else besides Montgomery? I have. I've actually been in Williamsport School District for the past three years. Two years ago I taught 7th grade language arts and last year I was doing 8th grade science. Um, so far what do you like about Montgomery? I like the small school setting. I went to a smaller school graduating with around 85 people so that's all very familiar to me. I like the small community setting. Okay, we're glad to have you here. Thank you. Oh, well thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Next up, we got TSA with Spencer. So Jason, I hear you and a couple other guys, you guys went to TSA States. Yes, we did. It was me, Jacob Thomas, Jackson Stryker, and Curtis Gordon. Uh, this, about this time every year, we normally qualify for States, and we head out to Seven Springs Resort and around Champion, PA, and we have a good time. We take our uh, projects that we made, and we compete in several other events that are held out there. So how'd that go for you guys? It went pretty well. I don't think we did as well as we expected to this year. Normally we have a few other qualifiers, but our big event that we do every year is the RC car. And uh, this year I was driving the RC car for us and we had Jackson Stryker and Jacob Thomas in the pit crew. They had to change the, chi change the tire, change the body off, and uh, we took fourth place in that. So we're pretty proud of that. That's right around where we placed last year, so uh, we're happy to be consistent with that. Well, I mean, thanks for doing this interview. Thank you for your time. On to world news with Cheyenne. Hi, I'm Cheyenne, and I'm here for your world news. President Trump has called for a 30-foot concrete wall along the U.S. and Mexico border to halt illegal immigration. Scientists say that this wall could be devastating to the hundreds of endangered species around that area. Next, we got question of the week with Vanessa. I'm Keith Havishan, and I'm here with Mrs. Green. Uh, Ms. Green, what are you most excited about for prom this year? Um, every year, I think what I get most excited about is having all the students come and seeing them all dressed up and seeing them dance because they are incredible dancers and they have a really good time every year. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Vanessa and I'm Megan about prom. So how do you feel about going to your first prom? I'm actually kind of excited. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Vanessa and I'm here with Keith interviewing her about prom. So what are you most excited for about your senior prom? Um, just to have fun with my friends. Are you sad that it's your last prom? No. Okay, thank you. So, Alex, you know what do you want to do next year? Mm, not really. Well, Austin's going to ask around for us what people want to do for the future plans next year. Hi, I'm Alyssa Rogers, and I'm here with Jermaine Bolden. We're going to be asking him what his plans for next year. What are your plans for next year as a senior? Oh, next year. As a senior, I'm going to be looking forward to playing a lot of football. I'm going to join the new bowling team next year and hopefully get out of the school and graduate. Thank you. Yeah. I'm Melissa Rogers and I'm here doing Jonathan Binding on his plans for junior. What are your plans for junior? Uh, just to keep up the good grades and uh, do cross country. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Chris interviewing him about his future plans for next year. So Chris, what are your plans for next year? Um, hopefully keep up the good grades and get a good job. All right, thanks. I'm Elsa Rogers, and I'm here with Chris McClintock. I'm going to him on his plan for junior year. What are your plans for junior year? Uh, just to keep up the good grades, um, get back on track with uh, basketball, and maybe start something good with the football team. All right, thank you. 
That's all for this week's show, and don't forget to come support our show, Little Shop of Horrors. Feed me! <laughs> <laughs>